Are you looking for cheap and inexpensive date ideas? Well, I've got you covered. This video, I'm going to cover 13 suggestions in the area of competitive or physical activities. Coming up next. What's good everyone, Mario here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you 13 cheap and inexpensive date ideas under the category of competitive or physical activities. So we're gonna list those, give you some great ideas for your dating life. But first, let me share with you that if you're not fully satisfied with your current dating or online dating experiences, I invite you to join one or both of our free online academies. We have Get Game Group Academy covering all things attraction, dating, relationships, and self-development, as well as our online dating academy. Both of them send out free weekly videos designed to help you level up your game so you can win more and lose less. Now, they're super easy to join, so sign up takes seconds. Just click the link in the description or the card for this video. Now, let's get to it. We have 13 cheap and inexpensive date ideas covering the category of uh, competitive or physical uh, sort of activities. And remember, we've got a whole playlist for this, so uh, you should see that card available uh, that shows you the whole playlist. But the other videos in this series are entertainment, food and drink, and also outdoor activities, all right? Number one, uh, the number one outdoor, uh, excuse me, the competitive and physical activity as a date idea that's cheap and inexpensive, number one is batting cages. Uh, going to the batting cages is something that you don't have to be just a man to like. Uh, you just have to be wanting to do something simple that's fun. You have a bat, you like to hit a ball, and that's fun. Uh, just that It's just a, a very simple pleasure uh, that men and women can appreciate. Uh, and you don't have to be great at. There's there's not really this pressure that you have to do great. You can swing and miss and laugh it off if you have great company. Uh, you can hit a little uh, piddly uh, hit and you can laugh about that or you can really stroke one and be like, wow, and uh, people can cheer you on. It can be a nice shared activity. I've enjoyed it uh, and uh, would pass that along to you. Number two, mini golf, probably something you're more familiar with and it's a fine date. Uh, you get to interact and you're outside, I always like that. Uh, there's some competition which really gets the juices going, so um, you know, another great idea. Number three, going to the driving range and hitting some golf balls. Again, here you don't have to be great. It can be fun just to, again, sort of the same concept as going to the batting cages. You know, you just line up and whack something. Where does it go? You don't have to be great. You don't have to be an expert. Matter of fact, it could probably be more fun if you're both not experts. You can take turns laughing at each other and laughing at your silliness, all right? Number four, basketball. All right, basketball is really simple. There are basketball rims all over every town and every city. And what do you need to, to do that? Just a basketball. And, you know, you could buy one or you could borrow one. And uh, just going out, you know, like I've had so many people that I've known uh, that have challenged me because they've been former athletes or they're, they're athletic. And, I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's something real easy where you could just say, oh, you, you used to play basketball or you, you, you like playing basketball? You know, like, oh, we should play sometime. And it's a great way to just get those competitive juices going. And uh, it's fun. It's fun. And it's something, again, where if you don't take it so seriously, the two of you can just go out there, play some one-on-one -on -one and just shoot around. And it's a way for you to bond and just have some fun together. And it doesn't cost much money, if any. All right. Number five, share a workout at the gym. All right, it's a shared activity, you're being physical, and you know, you kind of get to show off maybe just a little bit, wear that special outfit even. Uh, working out at the gym, what, what what might that cost you? Maybe saying like, hey, I'll, I'll, why don't you come, come to my gym, I'll get you a guest pass. Get them a guest pass. It's anywhere from $5 to maybe 15 And 15 is like, damn, for a guest pass for a one time? Yeah, you know, gyms really get us, but um, you know, hopefully it's not that 15, maybe closer to 5, 10, but still a cheap date idea, all right? And one where you get to interact and get to know each other better, all right? Number six, let's get into tennis. Again, there are tennis courts everywhere, all right? And the thing is, you don't have to be great. Matter of fact, all these activities, it's almost better if you're not so good at them. Personally, my challenge has always been like I'm super competitive and I've always been super athletic at most things and I pick things up really well and I wish I could just be like most people, I'm jealous of you probably, who can suck at things and have a good time with it. I'm so competitive, I hate to suck and I'll practice and practice and I'll get serious. Um, but for the most of the population, you can go out and just play tennis and it doesn't matter if the ball bounces once or three times, you're having a good time just trying to hit it over the net. All right, have fun with whatever you're doing. Uh, and in this situation, actually don't be like me. Don't be serious about the competitiveness. I just can't turn it off. That's how I'm wired. So I hope uh, the rest of you can just don't be like me in that sense, okay? 
Uh, number seven, this is something pretty cool that you can do. I don't know if you know about it in your town, but rock climbing. All right, there are these rock climbing gyms where you're, you're actually strapped in very safely. So it's not dangerous and uh, it's a fun activity, something that probably most people have not done on a date. Uh, you, you do it together, you share a bonding experience, and it's something that people can talk about and share with their friends the next week and say, uh, well, what'd you do? Well, I went out with this person and we did rock climbing, blah, blah, blah. Makes you sound good. All right, number eight, attend a dance class. Sometimes you can go for free, you can get a uh, introductory whatever, uh, or you can purchase a Groupon, you can do whatever, but check out a dance class. You can do that, uh, and it doesn't mean that you have to sign up for eight weeks, you can just go for one class. Have some fun with whatever it is. It could be salsa, it could be swing dancing, it could be whatever you're interested in, whatever you think actually could be fun. It doesn't mean that you would do it for uh, you know a month, but just do something once. and and make an experience of, hey, let's go try this and see how bad we'll be at this. It could be fun, all right? Number nine, along the same lines, how about a yoga class? Something again that uh, not everyone is good at and it's okay if you're not good at it and it actually, if you're not, it kind of makes for some better conversation. You get some laughs and afterwards you can talk about how that pose was so difficult and you're shaking. Um, a lot of times we're, we're thinking about, well, I don't know what to talk about, I get nervous. Well, post yoga, you can set up something where you're talking or go get a treat afterwards. Um, and you have stuff to talk about because of that yoga class, all right? Number 10, roller skating. Every city still has a roller skating rink. And this might take some of us to childhood. And uh, you know, just a lot of times dating is about participating in you know, youthful activities. Uh, as adults and just having that freedom to make it fun. You know, roller, roller skating can be a fun activity and also can hint, it can, it can really tug at those strings of nostalgia. Uh, and so it can be a very much a fun experience. And also, again, uh, you have the physical part of it, you have the interaction, and uh, maybe, that, uh, maybe that DJ calls that, that couples uh, skate too. All right, um, number 11, go for a bike ride. Again, here's something where you can get creative. Oh, you don't have a bike or you don't have two bikes. Um, well, problem solved. You can easily borrow a bike. You can actually rent bikes in many areas. Uh, many cities offer you the ability to rent a bike, um, but you could be like me. You have a brother who's like big into biking. He's like, hey, if you ever want a bike, you can just borrow mine. Um, so you don't feel like you need to have all these things. You, if you don't have a bike, rent one or borrow one or borrow two or or rent two, whatever you need to do. A bike ride can be a great opportunity for you to go uh, be physical, go outside, share an experience, bond. And again, always the opportunity for cheap eats and cheap treats uh, because we're not just doing the traditional, let's go to an expensive dinner, you know, that sort of thing. All right, number 12, along those lines, this is something new that I've seen pop up in most major cities is your ability to rent scooters. And the thing is you don't have to take them to go to work, take them on your day off on a date and you get to just scoot around the city. Uh, you can do touristing stuff and you know, you just explore because you don't have to walk and it's and the added element of having some fun. What do you need to do? All you need to do is pay for just a few hours worth of renting a scooter. All right. Something that is super fun and super affordable. All right. Number 13, uh, our last reason, uh, or excuse me, our last uh, suggestion is just inviting someone to go for a jog with you, maybe a walk or a jog, um, might, whatever your, is your speed. But when we're, when we're doing these activities, one, we're doing something that's good for us. Two, we're inviting someone to join us. Uh, it's a bonding experience. You can, you know, like there's something when people do physical things together, I believe. Uh, it bonds you in a different way. Uh, the struggle, the overcoming, like if you run three miles together, you did that as 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 a connected group together. Uh, it's not the same. Uh, you know, like you will be viewed differently because the two of you went through a challenge and overcame it. You accomplished that mission, that goal together. So that's kind of the cool thing about something like a jog. It's like you have that, that you get to mark it down. We did this, not me, not you. We and I think that's pretty cool. So there we have it. We have uh, 13 cheap, inexpensive date suggestions in the category of being competitive or physical. And for more, um, you know, definitely check out the list, which we said was there's a link in the card for this video. So we're also covering uh, 
entertainment, food and drinks, and also outdoor activities. But if you have any more suggestions that you want to add to my list, by all means, please put those down in the comments. Um, it's all about sharing this information and adding to it, making it better for the next person who's looking for cheap, inexpensive data ideas that are under this category of competitive or physical activities. As always, until the next time, take care. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated the content from this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And male or female, if you're not satisfied with your dating or online dating experience, I invite you to join one or both of our free academies. We have Get Game Group Academy and Get Game Group Online Dating Academy, both of which send out free weekly videos designed to help you up your game.